But we'll get back to that. Meantime, a leading voice in the financial sector, optimistic about the year ahead for the economy. President of the Bahamas Institute of Chartered Accountants, Gowan Bo, says with tourism numbers growing, especially with the stopover visitors, it's a positive sign. Given that we were spared and, and we are thankful for that from the hurricane season, I think a lot of the touristic product has been able to do renovations um, and ready themselves with, I'm going to say, a fresher front. And we have new developments that are continuing to take place. And that's a, con a significant driver to the economy. And so as long as we can keep those numbers up and the spend up, then it will have a trickle-down effect. It is not to say put it in all eggs in one basket in terms of one sector, but it certainly is leveraging that sector for all that it can produce. And whether that be sport elements, that religious elements, environmental elements, but really bringing people to our shores. And um, secondly, I think when you look at the interest in the Bahamas, it is not weaning that persons are still interested in doing projects and developments. And the government really just has to focus its attention on what I'm going to say, economic planning. Now, Mr. Bo added that the government needs to be the facilitator of business development and seen less as the employer of choice. This, he says, will continue to strengthen the economy as the focus has been on improving the ease of doing business. We know that when we find economic hardships come, there's a look to government to fill the void when you have a, a pullback in the private sector. And if we continue to have such a large influence by the government sector, then we're not readying ourselves in the event of future turbulent times. And that could be whether in the form of natural disasters, that could be in the form of economic pressures that we've seen taking place, and persons who are predicting um, another recession, maybe not as deep as the 2008 one, but certainly signs of um, bubbles that are about to burst, et cetera. So when we talk about ease of doing business, when we talk about efficiency in the process, when we talk about um, quick responses to approvals and other um, submissions, that, that is something that we want to see. But businesses and individuals have to look at themselves in the mirror very harshly and say, well, how do I contribute?